This is Company Saturdays. Every Saturday, we present you with another company. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Sony. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some interesting and surprising facts about Sony, one of the most comprehensive entertainment and technology companies in the world. Sony was founded as an electronics shop on May 7, 1946 in Tokyo, Japan by Masaru Ibuka and Akio Morita, although it wasn't called Sony until 1958. The co-founders expanded the business beyond Japan to become a multinational technology company. The success of their business was bolstered by American radio sales in the 1950s and 60s, and they found incredible success again in the 1980s with the sale of their revolutionary Walkman, and in the 90s and 2000s with their PlayStation game consoles. Today, Sony has four components, electronics, motion pictures, music, and financial services, and the brand encompasses Sony Pictures, Sony Mobile, Sony Interactive Entertainment, Sony Music, and Sony Financial Holdings. We are inspired by Sony's longevity, innovative spirit, willingness to take a risk, and forward-thinking nature. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So, let's take a closer look now at this incredibly diverse company with the 15 things you didn't know about Sony. Number 1. Their best-selling product in the early years was an electronically heated cushion. Sony started in the aftermath of World War II, and equipment and products were scarce. In these early days, the hard-working engineers of Sony made most of their equipment themselves. For example, they made screwdrivers from motorcycle springs they found in war ruins, and they substituted telephone cables for electrical wire in their trial products. They also made their own electrical coils, which they used to make their best-selling product, an electronically heated cushion. Number 2. Sony revolutionized the Japanese job market. When Akio Morita founded the Sony Corporation of America, he was surprised by the way American employees could easily move from one company to another. This was unheard of in Japan at the time. Once a person started with a company, they generally stayed with that company throughout their entire career. When Morita returned to Japan, he sought out experienced middle-aged employees of other companies and encouraged them to consider becoming an employee of Sony. They ended up filling many positions inside the company this way, and from that time on, they inspired many other Japanese companies to do the same. Number 3. The Sony PlayStation was the result of a falling out with Nintendo in 1988, Nintendo decided to collaborate with Sony and asked them to create an add-on for Nintendo's video game consoles that could play compact discs. Sony fulfilled their obligation, but then Nintendo backed out of their deal when the two companies couldn't agree on how the revenues would be split. Sony president Norio Oga was furious at the broken partnership and directed Ken Kutaragi to create their own console to compete against Nintendo. The Sony PlayStation was introduced December 3, 1994, and it quickly surpassed Nintendo's market share. Number 4. Over 200 million Sony Walkman units have been sold. The Sony Walkman, first introduced in 1979, was the personal stereo tape deck which allowed people to listen to music on a personal device wherever they went for the first time. It was originally sold in the US as the Soundabout and in the UK as the Stowaway, before Sony decided to market it globally as the Walkman. It first was released in Japan where Sony expected to sell 5,000 units per month. Instead, they sold nearly 50,000 units in the first two months. Sony has now introduced over 300 models, including CD and MP3 players, and have sold over 200 million units. Number 5. The most expensive PlayStation 3 sold for $323,000. When PlayStation released the PlayStation 3 in 2006, it retailed for around $600. But luxury gadget designer Stuart Hughes decided to take the console to the next level by creating the PS3 Supreme. The console has a 22 karat gold exterior made with over 1,600 grams of gold, and there are 58 
0.5 carat diamonds on either side of the disc loader. The console took 12 weeks to make, and he only produced three of them. They each sold for around $323,000. Number 6. Sony's market capitalization went from $100 billion to $18 billion. Sony saw incredible profits in the 1990s and early 2000s, largely thanks to the success of the new PlayStation game console. In September 2000, the company's market capitalization was $100 billion, and it seemed like Sony would only go up from there. However, Sony was faced with a series of obstacles that greatly affected their bottom line. The global financial crisis took a huge toll as did increased competition for PlayStation. The Japanese earthquake of 2011 also had a devastating impact on the company. By December 2011, Sony was valued at only $18 billion. There was some speculation the company would never be revitalized, but as of April 2018, its market capitalization is going up, hitting $62 billion. Number 7. Over half of their data was wiped in a hack allegedly perpetrated by North Korea. On November 24, 2014, when Sony employees logged into their computers, they were greeted with the sound of gunfire, the image of a fiery skeleton, and a message from hackers informing them their top secrets had been stolen. The hacker's malware erased everything stored on 3,262 of the company's computers and 837 of its 1,555 servers. Over the next three weeks, the hackers dumped nine batches of confidential files onto public file sharing sites. This included embarrassing emails, unfinished movie scripts, five films, salary lists, and more than 47,000 social security numbers. The FBI said the attack was done by North Korea in retaliation for the movie The Interview, which was about the assassination of Kim Jong-un. Number 8. They accidentally launched camcorders that could see through people's clothes. One of the major controversies of the Sony Corporation came in 1998 when they released their new night vision camcorder. The camcorders were equipped with a lens that used infrared technology to help people record videos in the dark. As the camcorder operators quickly found out though, anyone wearing darker clothes was at risk of being exposed. Several websites featured videos taken with these cameras that showed women who appeared to be nearly naked, although they were fully clothed at the time of the recording. This problem received widespread recognition when media outlets picked up the story, and Sony was forced to recall the 700,000 camcorders they had already sold. Number 9. Sony's name partially comes from the American slang, Sunny. Sony was initially called Tokyo Sushin Kagyo, but they wanted to create a more universal name when their company started to expand outside of Japan. They started using the name Tatsuko, but then one of the co-founders, Akio Morita, visited the United States. He discovered that Americans had trouble pronouncing the name. Sony was eventually chosen as the company's name, and it was derived from two words. The Latin word Sonus, which is the root word of sonic and sound, and the American slang term Sonny, which was commonly used in the 1950s to refer to a young boy. The Japanese adopted the slang term Sonny Boy, but they used it to refer to a smart and presentable young man, which the co-founders of Sony considered themselves to be. The company officially became Sony in 1958. Number 10. Sony grossed $68 billion in revenue in 2017. The fiscal year of 2017 saw Sony bringing in $68 billion in revenue. Although it's a respectable amount, it's actually the lowest revenue Sony's had since 2013. In 2016, they had over $4 billion more in revenue, and their biggest revenue year in the past 10 years was 2008, with $79.75 billion. In 2017, their best-selling segment was games and network services, with nearly $15 billion in sales. They still have a long way to go to match one of their main competitors, though, Apple, which had over $229 billion in revenue in 2017. To find out some more about this tech giant, click in the upper right-hand corner to watch our video, 15 Things You Didn't Know About Apple. Number 11. Sony is producing vinyl records again after a nearly 30-year break. Sony Music is the second largest music company in the world, behind the Universal Music Group. In 2017, Sony announced they would begin pressing records again for the first time since 1989, after a dramatic increase in demand for vinyl music in recent years. 
The BBC reported that Sony is having trouble finding engineers who even know how to make records, but they intend to start selling them in 2018. Sony's artists include Beyonce, Adele, Justin Timberlake, and Tim McGraw. Number 12. Sony turned down an offer to buy the rights to some of Marvel's best heroes for $25 million. A recent Wall Street Journal story revealed that in 1998, when Sony reached out to Marvel to buy the rights to Spider-Man, they turned down a deal that could have made them billions in the long run. Marvel, who was just starting to branch out into movies, offered them virtually every Marvel character, including Thor, Iron Man, Black Panther, and Ant-Man for $25 million. Sony declined and made a deal to purchase only Spider-Man. Of course, Marvel eventually teamed up with Disney, and in the past 10 years, Marvel films have grossed over $13.5 billion. Number 13. It's the 73rd most valuable brand in the world. Of all the tens of thousands of brand in the world, Forbes lists Sony as the respectable rank of 73. This puts Sony just behind Netflix and Kellogg's, and in front of other big-name brands like Adidas, Hershey, Coach, T-Mobile, and Lego. It also ranked 93rd in sales and 23rd on the list of top-regarded companies, but was number 272 on the list of companies with the highest market value. Number 14. Sony Columbia Pictures grossed over $1 billion in 2017. Sony Pictures released 26 movies in 2017, including Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, The Emoji Movie, Baby Driver, and The Dark Tower. Their total revenue for the year was $1.06 billion, which gave them 9.6% of the total market share. They were the fifth most successful studio in 2017, behind 20th Century Fox, Universal, Warner Brothers, and the number one studio, Buena Vista. The most successful movie of the year was Spider-Man Homecoming, which grossed over $334 million, but this is only because Jumanji made most of its money in 2018, with a total gross of $943 million as of March 2018. Number 15. Sony was the first Japanese company to offer shares in the US, among many other firsts. Sony has been an innovative company from the very beginning, known to break barriers and enter uncharted waters to offer new technology and creative products worldwide. The company has experienced a number of firsts, and here are just a few. In 1973, they became the first Japanese company to win an Emmy, which they earned for developing the Tri-Nitron Color TV. They were the first Japanese company to offer shares in the US in 1961. Also, after inventing the first portable music player in 1979, they introduced the first CD player in 1982. And there you have it, Aluxers. Some more incredible lesser-known facts about Sony. Now that you've learned some more about the company, we'd like to know, do you think Sony will be able to keep up with the ever-evolving technology market and remain competitive? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Of course you are. Here's that bonus fact. Number 16. Sony created a Walkman specifically for inmates. Earlier, we mentioned that Sony developed 300 different models of the Walkman. Well, one of those models was designed specifically for inmates. We're talking about the Prison Issue Walkman SRF 39FP, where the FP stands for Federal Prison. This Walkman is see-through, so that inmates will not be able to hide any contraband within it. It also runs for 40 hours off a single AA battery, and they're able to pick up radio reception even through thick prison walls. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.